If you grew up in the 90s, then Jurassic World Dominion will hit you with a dose of nostalgia. You'll remember the feeling of seeing dinosaurs lifelike enough to scare the pants off you. We created an ecological disaster. Dominion is the sixth and final film in the Jurassic Park series. We made a terrible mistake. The story begins four years after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Dinosaurs and humans now coexist around the world. Biosyn, a futuristic corporation led by a creepy Steve Jobs meets Elon Musk-like character called Lewis Dodson, played by Scott Campbell, has a dinosaur sanctuary. They're using dinos for their own dark purposes. We not only lack dominion over nature. Characters from the original 1993 movie, Dr. Sattler, Dr. Grant and Dr. Malcolm, played by Laura Dern, Sam Neill and Jeff Goldblum, infiltrate the Biosyn Reserve. On the other hand, Owen and Claire, played by Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, are chasing Beta, a baby raptor and Macy Lockwood, the genetic clone of the Jurassic Park's co-founder's daughter. Lockwood and Beta have been kidnapped by corporates for their valuable genetic properties. The two storylines eventually come together and it's bam bam against the bad guys and mean dinosaurs, the biggest of them being the Giganotus. What is that? Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. The fine CGI work and the grand background score really work together to create a larger than life atmosphere. They have made use of more animatronics in this film than in any other and the efforts show. It's like an adventure ride in a theme park followed by a dinosaur themed after party. <laughs> The dinosaurs are bigger and scarier. There's even a feathered dinosaur. It chases Chris Pratt and Devonda Wise across thin ice in a pretty fantastic scene. Plus, there's plenty of humor to balance the terrifying visuals. That can't be right. Like Jeff Goldblum, who's at his classic best, entertaining you with the stammering and cracking one-liners. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. Why? 